Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is video True Nerd, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Dust, where you join me, very sadly indeed, in Zion, where I'm being hunted by a Wendigo. Last time, I think we managed to, yeah, start to get to grips with what's going on here, and that means today, I've got a plan. You see, right now I'm at the Eastern Virgin. I've already, yeah, been round to the Dead Horses Camp. I've checked out the Angel Cave and all of that sort of thing. So I know for a fact that what I'm looking for, the key to get me into the tunnel, is not there. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be at Three Marys, because that's right by where we actually entered Zion. Which leaves only one logical place where it would be. Up here. The Narrows. So I need to make my way up there. And having done a little bit of exploring last week, I have learnt the same lesson that Paul Revere did when he discovered Australia. Which is, when you have to choose between going by land or by sea, yeah, definitely sea. Sea is the better option here. If I just basically follow this river up towards the north, I should be able to fairly easily work my way round to the narrows. The water's not very radioactive, I can sort of, you know, skim between the bank and the river itself. I think I've got, hang on, do I actually have uh, a Radex left at this point? I've got, yeah, I've got one Radex. So uh, we can at least avoid some rads for the time being. It should not be that bad. Because the Wendigo and the little Wendigo babies, or are they just spore crawlers? I'm not sure if like the normal ones are spore crawlers, but like the Wendigo is a Wendigo. Or maybe the Wendigo is just a big spore crawler and people are just calling it a Wendigo because. That seems more likely actually. Right, so the Wendigo doesn't seem to like being in the water and neither do the spore crawlers. So, uh, screw it. I'm heading north, sticking to the river with the Radex. We'll see how far we can get before I run into trouble. Alright, Radex applied and the key here is, uh, yeah. I must not actually crouch or anything. I've got to do this as fast as possible. Stay on the edge. Yep. Yeah, I'm suffering from whiskey withdrawal, which made the river temporarily, like, turn into blood. That was good. So I'm taking... Yeah, I'm taking rads very slowly right now. This I think I'm willing to accept. Now, right here, the water's pretty deep. Yeah, I'm up to radiation poisoning level 1. But honestly, I just did a rad away. So I should be, hopefully, fine. And you guys seem, yeah, very reluctant to follow me into the water. You totally know I'm here, but you don't have any projectiles. The Wendigo and the spore crawlers do not have projectiles. Yeah, the actual spore-infested things. The only projectiles they've got access to are through the spore carrier plants. And those guys don't seem to be around here. Like, hello up there. You know I'm here, but you... You even gonna try it? You know what? I'm just gonna set fire to you if I can. I can't because you're in the water. But honestly, even in the water, you don't seem to be posing any form of threat to me. This seems, yeah, to actually be working pretty fine. I can just live and let live. And when I say live and let live, I'm gonna need to keep checking the map here because uh, I'm deep in the Wendigo fog right now. I cannot see a bloody thing. But honestly, if I can just make it round to the Narrows before I hit 400 rads, and thus I'm still in just the effect of rad poisoning one, I will take that as, yeah, quite the victory. That'll flip in doom. Now, here's a good moment. I can just temporarily nip out of uh, the river. Stay close by to it. Just check what state I'm in right now. Caution, not danger. Yes, yeah, skirting around the outside of the river when it's at its more shallow. This works for me, and I should be... Yeah, now just bearing around to the left. So I've made it. That's more than halfway. That is more than halfway. This is definitely the way to travel in this part of the world. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Into the water, into the water, into the water. That's fine. You don't seem to like the water at flipping all. So how about I just swim over here? And now it should just be a straight shot at, yeah, the actual custom marker I've put down. Can't see a bloody thing, but no, that thing isn't even swimming after me. I'm not sure if they just... Can they not swim? Well, one of them was in the water earlier, but yeah, they seem to lose any interest in pursuing you when you actually get into the water, which works for me. Now, back to hidden. Yeah, made it all the way around here, staying hidden. Spot on. Back to caution now. Now in danger. So in which case, uh, you guys just stay nice and on fire. And I'll just naff off in this direction. Spot on. Oh, and we've made it out of the fog too. At this point, I can see a lot more clearly. I think we're safe up here. 
Officially I'm in danger. No, caution. Right, so we've made it out of the fog. This area is fog free. Which is flipping marvellous because that means uh, whatever's going on in the actual narrows, I'll actually have a decent shot at it. Because all this time, I've been saving up a ton of ammo for the gorse rifle. So that could work out very nicely right now and we're exactly where I wanted to be. We're under 400 rads. Ah, but... I might be stuck in the water over here. Okay. This could be... Hmm. We'll see. This may or may not be... Oh no, we're back in the bloody fog. Alright, I can't see a thing out there, but... We've got dead NCR here. Okay. Dead NCR. This is interesting. So the NCR did come to Zion. But they're all dead now. When I say they're all dead now... I'm going to guess there's still going to be, yep, yeah, NCR troopers, but they look pretty flimsy to me, actually. They look pretty flimsy to me. So how about, my good lads, you just stay right there and we start picking you off one by one because I've got this lovely, lovely rifle with very low spread on it. Just wait for those guys to... Chill out. Get out of the water. No, get get out of the water. There we go. Back to hit him. I should be able to pick these guys off one by one. Nice. And here comes someone else to come and check out what's going on because her friend just died. And now she's dead as well. All right. The one standing out here in the canyon shouldn't be too difficult to take care of. Rad level up to two. Four hundred. In fact, actually, if I could just get around here safely. Boom. I've got myself a safe little spot to pick off a couple of these lads right here. So how about you just go down as well? Alright, this, this is not so bad. Big powerful rifle plus sneak attacks. Not doing so bad at all so far. Though I am low on ammo. And I'd rather not go over to the gorse rifle if I can avoid it because that thing has got crazy sway on it. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Hello! Right, you found me, did you? Uh, hope 50-50! Didn't get lucky on the 50-50, but that's fine. Dead now. Oh, I'm down to one bullet in this thing. Okay. That's no good. That means it's, yeah, gorse rifle sooner rather than later. Okay. Other problem. This place is a bit of a maze. There's a load of little tunnels that go in and out of each other. But in the tunnels, I'd be better off going over to, to pistols. And you guys might have makeshift minigun. No, leave that. But that's ammo I can use in the service rifle, which I now have. Where are the rest of them? That's not going to be it. There's going to be way more yet. There's one over there. Hello, you're only armed with it. Oh, you're on with a 10mm. Oh, bless you. Oh, hold... Still there you flipping go. That'll do the job. Now the question is, how many junk rounds do I have? Oh, I've got none. That's the Mexican hunting rifle dry. Oh dear. Police pistol is also almost dry. Oh dear. Right. The problem is, the only ammo I've got is kind of trash ammo right now. Yeah, we're going over to the 10mm. Got plenty of that, but that's going to struggle if I run into anything with armour, which some NCR folks might have. Alright, into the first of the caves here. Now the question is, what's in the caves? If anything. Old abandoned... Oh! Spore carriers. Hello, I see you over there. Yeah, that's fine. So you're already down to pretty weak and nice and close. Headshot for you. One bullet straight in the brain. Down you go. And hopefully we'll have some... Yeah, we can have some supplies here. Some of you guys have got... Uh-oh. 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 More yet. Right. Trouble, but no, you're not too bad at all. Hello over there. Yes, why don't you just come over here and I'll just shoot you in the brain. All right, a handful of food here, but nothing major. Nothing major at all. Ooh, cave fungus, though. That's better. Just keep on eating that there cave fungus. Absolutely. Food rads down. If I'm lucky, I might be able to cave fungus my way back down below 400 rads. 
That'd be magnificent if I could just do that. So yeah, just keep eating that stuff. There we go. Spot on. So now I'm only at the first level of rad poisoning. Now we got ourselves more spore carriers over there. Yeah, actually, more, more than one. But one of you is badly wounded already. Oh, there's, there's, there's a crowd. There's a crowd. Right, you're the badly wounded one. But I've got a shot into your head. I'm burning through ammo too quickly here. I'm burning through ammo too quickly. You just need to die to like one shot to the head. And then your friend comes in. Vat's defense does a good job against your first attack. And then one and two finishes you off. It was just, yeah, it was just those three. Okay, check the bodies. The thing is I need to kill these guys. Because I don't know where the flipping key is. And this is actually kind of useful because uh, cave fungus. Cave fungus times many. Just keep eating it. All right. Rads down all that good stuff. And, ooh, trail mix. That's actually very good. Weighs a lot, though. I'll get my food weighed down. Ooh, I'd like to... Yeah, you know what? I'll drink some vodka. That'll be fine. Just keep eating the cave fungus. That's actually made me... Oh, yes, of course. Sick with minor dehydration. That's fine. Water goes up from drinking booze. No problem there. How much water do I have? Oh, three. Right. Uh, drink some of that. Why not keep yourself in good shape? And I've got two dirty waters as well. Keep eating the cave fungus. Right. What's the state I'm in? Water, 100. Food, 0. Sleep, 188. And rads, 361. So, a decent way below 400. This eat all the cave fungus plan. In fact, actually, is that... Is that more over there? Ooh, that's more over there. Better and flipping better. Now, the question is... Where does this... Oh. This doesn't go anywhere. This goes to a dead end. So, what I've basically just done there is I've swapped a pile of ammo for a big amount of rad reduction and also some trail mix, which is a valuable little thing to have... That is a useful healing item, if nothing else, but... Alright. Back out in that case. Back out. Grab any cave fungus I've missed, but I think we're okay. I keep needing to check the caves, because one of these caves is gonna have the key in it. Right. In which case, next main thing is, cross the bridge, loop around. Stay up top, because... Oh. Hello. Who are you? Ah, you're asleep. Okay. That's good. I like asleep people. They make excellent static targets. There we go. Oh, did you just survive that? No, no, you most definitely did not. And now, oh, someone's coming at me. Somebody who's holding, oh, an invisible gum. That's less, oh, what the cock? What was that? I don't know, but I'm going to fall over here. Or I could potentially use the cliffs as a bit of better... Better cover. Right, I did not want to be using the gorse rifle in an actual fight, to be honest. That's that's not what I want at all. No. Uh, loop around here. Caution. I feel tired. That's that's fine. Where's... Oh, I see you down there! Okay, good. That's a good shot. Spot on. So, I've just found something. Is that... Oh, that's the Sorrows Camp I've technically just found. That's fine. That's not actually a... Uh... The cave right here. All right, clearing them out. Good start. And I see one up there as well. Assuming we've got... Uh-oh. Wait, what? Well, somebody seems to think they've got my number. But who? It ain't you. Is there... I don't know. Someone is yelling. Possibly someone on a high ledge who can't get a shot at me. And I can't get a shot at them either. Right. Interesting. Now, oh. I'm not sure if the hitboxes will allow this. And hello. Yes. No. Maybe. Oh, I've got his attention. That's, that's actually kind of useful. If you guys would like to just step out somewhere I might be able to shoot ya. That'd be marvellous. You can't hide from me forever. Who's saying that? Why are you saying that? Are you up there somewhere? I don't know. Now, the problem is, ah, this ledge doesn't go any further round. If I want to go any further, in terms of up, I'm going to need to go 
down, around, and back up again afterwards. Well, that's... that's fine. There's plenty of places I can... Okay, now someone's firing at me. Or maybe they're not. It's kind of hard to tell. Right, if she is above me, that means when I'm on the... Oh, hello, hello, yes, yes. Right, you're down there. That's where you were. I see. And oh, bloody hell. No, 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 no. Yeah, use the bridge for cover. Well, wait for her to reload. And oh, I just shot the gun out of her hands. That's, well, it's kind of useful. I mean, it's a good trick shot. I'm not sure it actually helps that much. But blasting her knee out from under her, that works better, yes. You know what? Just took a few knocks there. May as well do the trail mix. Because hit points plus 11, 15 seconds. That's actually damn good. Yeah, look at that. That's way better than a flipping stim pack. Okay. Head down and check the corpses. Because any one of these could have the key on it. For all I know, one of these lads could be the captain or something. Ooh, 308. Yes, precisely what I wanted. All right, the hunting rifle is back in play. And that is marvellously good news, because that thing, I can actually flipping aim. Well, up to five normal bullets in the actual Mexican hunting rifle. I'll take that so far. No sign of a key yet. That is bottle caps. Completely useless bottle caps. One more. No, NCR trooper. Handful of four, five rounds. Don't even have the right gun for that. I think I saw one over there, but... No need to rush to that yet. Work my way round here. I feel like this is going to get worse before it gets better. You're totally going to make me uh, climb for a cave, uh, come out there, cross that bridge, into another cave, and keep going until I get to the top. There's no way you're not making me do that. Alright, another small problem. The waterfall here presents very poor visibility. Skirt round that, and... Hello... Who is round here? I don't see anyone yet, but again, they could be hidden by the waterfall. They could be up top. They could be on the bridge. Okay. Looks quiet so far. I think there's, what is it called? Half Mouse Cave at the end of this place. Which you need to cut through potentially. Oh! I see you up there. Uh... Okay, gods of hitboxers. Nice! Well done, gods of hitboxers. Well flipping done. Right. She's dead. And she doesn't have any friends. Otherwise, they would have already noticed me. Good. That's gone well so far then. Okay, nothing around the corner so far. Move around to the other side. Nope, that's just a rock. And check. 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 Back up to 400 rads. Honestly, that's not so bad. Rads have been much worse in the past than they are now. Alright. So far, we're okay, but I'm scared that there's stuff hidden up top I can't see. Yeah, I think there's a cave at the end here. But I'd like to see what's going on up here first. And the answer is, yeah, I'll go this side, because then I should have a nice... Is that a... No, that's a tree. Minor dehydration. Sort that out in a minute. Right, loop around here. Ah, maybe it's up here on the first level. Right. So far, no sign of Daniel. So, wherever Daniel is, he's not in his usual spot. So from here, let's just go up here and have a little loop see across the bridges. Yeah. I could loop around here to that bridge and head over in that direction, or I could head into what I think is Half Mouse Cave. Let's start with the cave, we'll work from there. And yeah, if I'm in the cave, I'm going to go over to the pistol. No need to use the Mexican hunting rifle when, uh, yeah, it's actually not exactly crucial. Yes, Half Mouse Cave, I was remembering correctly. Someone's around here, by the way. Hopefully, they're not going to cause trouble, and... Oh dear! NCR Troopers, uh, that's... Nastier than I was expecting, actually. Uh, how many of you are you there? Any chance I can just get you in the head? If it's just these two, that's fine. If it's more, I'm starting to get... No, it was just those two. Alright. Half-mouse cave. Search them. 
Rounds, rounds. Oh, service rifle. Use that to repair my own spot on. And actually, remember to go over to that. That's actually a decent... What happened to my service... Oh! I don't have a service rifle. Or at least I didn't before now. That was in the universe where I went to McCarran, which didn't happen in this universe. I see, yes. Right, we'll drop that for the time being, unless there's a second one to repair it up, because uh, in its current form, it's probably not good enough to bother with. And that is... Mm, leave that be. Explore deeper first. Find cave fungus. See what we've got going on here. Now, nice and slow, nice and careful, and if there was NCR here the first time, yeah, more NCR. You guys just stay there for the time being, because I've been carrying all these grenades this whole time. So how about we just put a grenade over there for a second. There we flipping go. That'll do the job. Is that all of you dead? Yep, that's both of you dead, spot on. Now just check around to make sure they didn't have any more friends. I think that's... That looks like that's back outside. Yeah, that's back outside. Okay, this cave is clear in that case. And uh, I see campfires. I see... I see food. Oh my, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now this is looking precisely... Ooh. All sorts of meat. Right, you guys were doing all right here. I'm so sorry I've kind of shown up and ruined it for you. So... Do I want to take the... You know what? This thing is light. I'm going to take that. It might be of use. I've got plenty of ammo for it for the time being. In fact, actually, it looks like there were three of you. So, uh, yeah, that grenade, I think, was definitely a pretty good choice, all things considered. Yeah, more of these pistols, too. Spot on. That'll do nicely. Oh, yeah, these guys were growing, flipping coffee, fresh potatoes... Anti-venom, more coffee beans, uh, yeah, clean produce, they've managed to kill tunnelers, bighorns, coyotes, uh, right, let's just cook all of this up. Now this here is actually a very, very decent amount of uh, food. The problem is I don't have the water, I would normally just go for a nap right now, but yeah, with no actual water supplies that I can make use of... Uh, That'd be a bad idea, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to leave that be. Instead, food is... Food is okay, water's worse, but... I do have some stuff, like, yeah, those actual plants they were bringing in. That had some water down, didn't it? Yeah, fresh potato gets water down a tiny amount. Yep, the fresh produce just gets me below 200 water. Good result. Okay, back outside... This should bring me to the... Oh, dear! Hello! Oh, you're wearing a fancy uniform. That... That might be of interest. Right, one of you's dead. You are going to die before you get up. Right, headshot for you right there. Where's your friend? Oh, your friend's right there. Dead. Okay, three of them dead. One of them was wearing a fancy uniform. Come on, give me an officer here. Tell me that's an officer, because that looks very much like an officer to me. And... No. Boo. That is a shame. Still, 10mm top up at the bare minimum. Ooh, we've got a spore carrier coming in as well. Ooh, multiple spore carriers coming in, actually. Uh, how about this one for a starting point? So you can go... Ooh, you're a little bit tougher than the ones we've seen so far. Luckily, this armor gets me a critical and... I've still got the action points for probably a couple of strikes. Is that one or two can I have? Yep, got the three I need. Fine, I can still get six shots with this thing. Fact hidden. Those two spore carriers dead. Still got some ammo. All right, we're... We're okay. We're not dying. We're back down to where we should be. And more four or five ammo. Still no sign of the key, though, but yeah, it's going to be right flipping up top. They're going to make me climb right to the flipping top. But, so far, it's been going all right. So, out we go. Where am I right now? And also, any chance is this... Ooh! Is this water... Okay. The water would appear to be giving me rads to stand in, but not to drink. Which I will very, very gladly take, actually. Yes, in which case... Ooh! Do I want to go and have a nap in that case? 
I've got the food, and actually, dirty water times two, I've got purified water times four. Because I've got experimental radics and I already had two dirties. With that much water, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm going to go and see if I can utilize one of these here beds. So, can I actually use... Oh, I can use it! No, sadly I can't use this bed. It's slightly too corpsey. This bed will do the job, though. Okay, don't need long. Maybe five hours will do the job just to clear out that 200. And then, I've got plenty of water, plenty of food. Alright, so... Rads are still a little bit on the bad side. That should have cleared out the... Yep, sleep's as good as cleared out. Food and water both at about 250. But I've got myself, yeah, just do double coyote steak and also a big horn of steak. There we go, three steaks in a row. That'll sort all of that out. And then, don't use the purified water. Step outside and drink from that pool, which appears to be pure. There we go. Yep, mysteriously pure pool. Radioactive to stand in, despite the fact I'm wearing thick boots, but completely clean to drink. I ain't gonna question it. Alright, this mod is unfair in many, many ways, so uh, if on one occasion I get a lucky break, I'm gonna take it. Though, by the way, someone's around here. Hello? Where are ya? Don't hear a person. Alright, jump up here. Now just wait. Is this where there's the... No, these two guys were probably killed by those spore carriers coming through. That's a service rifle right there. Do I want to go over to that? I'm probably okay, to be honest. Yeah, I'm probably fine. Alright, leave that be. Neither of you have got keys either. Yet more people dead up here. And more Mexican hunting rifle stuff. Beautiful. Though actually... Sniper rifle, reduced down to three weight. That's kind of fun, but I'm happier with the Mexican hunting rifle. I think I'm, I'm better with that. All right, so that lets me loop round. Oh, what's that? No, that's just a tree. That's just a tree. Don't panic. And this doesn't go around to... No, this doesn't go around to... No, this just loops around up top. All right, back over in that direction. And then I need to find myself another bridge to cross back over, keep looping round. In fact, here we go. One dead ahead of me over here. Just double check nothing's... Oh! Yeah, I see you down there. Down you go nice and quick, please. I don't want any trouble with you, lads. Alright, if you are willing to live and let live, we could probably be friends. But no, you're going to be dicks about it just because I've murdered several of your guys. What else do we have around here? Nothing yet. Fine. So we've got a bridge going up in this direction. Just, yeah. I'd say if it goes up, that's the right way to go. So loop around here. We're getting higher and higher. But remember, there is that down over there. In case I need... Oh, unless this is a... Uh... Right, this is a dead end, in fact. And I don't see anything over there. Fine, we must be going down towards that guy I just killed in that case. Oh, hello. I see an NCR trooper down there that's dressed in something a bit different. You're wearing weird armor, my good man. Right. Where are you exactly? Hang on. Where am I right now? That's... I can hear the waterfall suggesting that's... Is that the entrance to to Half Moon? No, Half Mouse right there. No, I'm around the corner from Half Mouse. Right, this is the different branch that leads to... Uh, that's the the cave where you go and meet the... Is that where you meet the shaman for the Ghost of She quest beginning? I'm not sure. Well, best as I could tell, where I am right now seems to have brought me to... Uh, a bit of a dead end, so I may as well... Yeah, I can work my way back up here. Drop down, because then I can go and check out what that corpse had on him. And also there's... Ah, some dancing skeletons here. Intriguing. Here we go, found my way to this guy. And he had... Radiation suits, sadly nothing else. So, why do they have a guy... 
with a rad suit right here. Ah, and there's that woman I shot in the head earlier. Okay, so, ah, this time I'm going right from where I came up. So I'm not sure how I missed you the first time I came through, because I've definitely been through here. Yeah, White Bird's Cave. So I could go in there, and I will do in just a... Oh, bloody hell, there's... There's more than one cave around here. Right, Crossroads Cave and White Bird Cave. All right, I will go and look at both of them in that case. Just as soon as I've got, yeah, the ammo off her. So, she also leads round to a bridge that brings me... Where does this bring me? That's down from the bridge I crossed over after I went through the first set of caves. That's brought me to this area. Ah, that brings me back to this guy. Fine. So, I now know where I am. So, the only two locations I've got access to I haven't been are those two caves at the end there. And by the looks of the compass, there's still two locations I haven't been in that direction. Glass, chime, and stone bones. Okay. Uh, I think both of them are, yeah, only accessible from further up. So, oh, Never mind. One of them is right bloody here, I'm guessing. Right, we'll start with Glass Chime Cave because it's right here and now I'm totally 100% lost. Now, nice colourful cave here. Yellows and purples. Did I just hear a footstep? I might have done. I might just be going mad. Maybe I heard my own footsteps. Oh, no. No, I definitely heard a footstep. Right. Eat that cave fungus. And why have I got insta mash? Get rid of flipping insta mash. Eat the cave fungus. Get the hell out of dodge. Right. So. That guy's coming over at some point or other. And wait. Do not let him get a shot in. Let him get... Nice and close. He gets like one shot in with an automatic. Goes down a point blank to the head. Back to hit him. Alright, if there's any more, they ain't awake right now. So we're fine for the time being. Plenty of food. These guys were actually doing okay in the supply front by the looks of things. And don't forget. Yeah, cave fungus times. Oh, all of the cave fungus. Beautiful. Alright, if there's one in here, there might be more. Be quiet. Oh. Okay. I see the problem here. And you go. Oh, that was your gun that just went down. That's right. Got a critical strike on you lads, but... Okay, let them come around the corner. They've actually got healing going on here. You know what? I should probably do the same. I'm sitting on flipping stim packs for days. No! Oh, this is going to go very wrong. This is going to go very wrong because you've got a high power dry fall. And next, I'm almost dead already. One, two. Go to the next one. One, two. You've got a fancy hat, which makes me think that... Oh! Blimey, heck, I survived that. Okay, we've got ourselves... Ooh, la di -da, unique weaponry. But it's rapid fire stuff, so don't bother with any of that business. Take the ammo, though. Might need that down the line. Next up, we've got ourselves... Ooh. Desert Eagle, but I don't have the ammo for that, unfortunately. And finally... No. An officer hat, but still nothing I can really make use of. Darn it. Right, get some healing going on through food uh, and some limb healing stuff here as well. Yeah, that engagement was scruffy. Ooh, right away. Oh, yeah. And more trail mix too. Ooh, wine. Okay. This place. I like this place already. You know, I'm just going to do the trail mix because I was already at full health, wasn't I? No matter. You know what? Do I have a today's physician? Yes, I do. Make sure that takes effect. Do the rad away. Let's get some rads out of the way, please. That stuff is precious. Okay, this cave is a dead end. Nothing else here. But honestly, getting wine, trail mix, and a rad away out of this place, that makes it worthwhile. So we are... we're fine. We're absolutely fine. Right, next cave on my list. White Bird's Cave. I think this one's a dead end and pretty small. I hear movement. Pretty sure there's NCR in here. Do I want to go straight over to a throwable? Could just put a Molotov cocktail in there. 
Would that kill them? I don't know if that would kill them right. Just peek up. Hello. Yeah. I see you there. It looks like it might actually just be one. If it is, let's just see what we got here. Yeah, still hit him. Yep, yeah, fine. Go over to 10 millimeter in that case. There might still be just the odd person floating about, but no. As I thought, this place is very, very small indeed. Ooh, what's a... Wait. What's an auto-material rifle? That's... That's not an anti-material rifle. Well, it kind of is, but it's... It's kind of not as well. Right. Well, that's... For, ooh. Maybe focus on the important things. I've got the flipping tunnel key. Alright. Now, any chance, because you're important and have the tunnel key, you might actually have... Why have you got spore plant pods? Why is that mixed in with your food? This, this is why you're all dead now. Well, actually, that was because of me. But, like, even if I hadn't come along, you would have died pretty quickly if that's what you're doing, you bloody idiots. So, yeah, the auto material rifle suppressor. That's also got a mod here. That weighs, it weighs 14. No, we can't pull that off. No chance in hell. We're just going to have to make do with what we've got. If we're taking on, yeah, just basically blasting our way past spore carriers and whatever, the basic 10 millimeter will do the job. That would just be ridiculous overkill. Okay, we've got the actual key. Let's get the hell out of here. No need to explore the rest of it. All right, for some reason, yeah, this DLC seems to be lacking in lore because there just doesn't seem to be any notes floating around. Not that I found anyway. Like, you know, this is the obvious place to put a note on this guy's body. Or, like, right next to him or whatever, but... No? Doesn't seem to be. I will eat some coffee beans, though. That's quite useful. Okay, state of play on the rats. I'm at 266, which is actually pretty darn good. Because, yeah, there was the rat away and there's been all the cave fungus. That means I can probably make it back to my destination, which is over here now. Uh, yeah, move the custom market to there. Retread my exact steps because I know it's pretty safe. Loop around here, then use the flare gun to just keep those guys at bay while I make a run for the tunnel. Whatever that is, precisely. So with that, yeah, we got a plan. Right, let's be on our way then. I'll meet you when I get closer. Alright, quiet so far and the fog hasn't set in yet. I will say, I find it a bit odd how, yeah, nowhere in that camp was there any explanation as to what the NCR were doing here, aside from as a barrier to make it a bit more difficult for me to get the key. I'm just not quite sure, yeah, what the NCR were really there for. Why bother invading Zion? What's the point? What do they get out of it? I mean, okay, fine, if Zion was as it was in the base game, and like, you know, it's got plentiful food and clean water, yep, fine, great, marvellous, absolutely. But why bother staying? Well, maybe they came in while it was clean, and then, like, whatever happened, happened, and then, you know, they were just kind of stuck here because they couldn't get out because of the Wendigo and all of that business. But still, it would be nice to have a note, you know, stating that, so I'm not just guessing. Ah, this time I'm actually taking rads a fair bit faster, because I don't actually have a radex anymore. Right, yes, I see the, uh, I see the problem here. Well, that's fine, I should be able to stay... A little bit out of the water. Just for a second. This bit's a bit more generous. There's a bunch of dry bits on the way here. And we should be... Yeah, maybe halfway there at this point. There's... No, there's clearly spore carriers everywhere at the moment. Might need to just take a couple of them out. Rather than take the rads. The rads are starting to worry me and... We're very much into... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. But if I just go into the water... You guys completely lose interest. Spot on. In fact, it's time to go over to the flare gun. If anything so much as looks at me funny, just flare gun it. I'm probably still a little bit further away than I'd like, to be honest. Yeah, I'd like to do this next bit by water too. If I can stay under 600, that'll probably be fine. Is this the bridge? Hang on, is this the actual bridge I want? Yes, this is the bridge I want. Fine, I just need to basically take the next up that's available and then just try and get on top of the bridge we've already established i can't do 
much in the way of, will this do, will this do? Can I climb up here? Maybe, possibly, come on, 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 scurry my way up, it's gonna be fine, and remember, the Wendigo does appear on this bridge. Ugh. Come on, Skyrim powers activate. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> okay, maybe we don't go that way. Maybe because, you know, something's trying to literally smash me in the face while I'm doing it. We just go around the corner where I'm pretty sure I saw, yes, a much easier way up. Saw a much easier way up that way. This is, this is much better, yes. Right, over to here. Now, where are the spore carriers? There's... Are there any following me right now? Yes, you're... Excuse me. I was just trying to... Uh-oh. Where'd all my health go? That's mildly concerning. Right. Do a couple of stim packs. Be aware there's going to be... The Wendigo's going to appear right about here. Any time. Unless, of course, he decides... Ouch! No, no, no. All of you go away. Right. The problem is... I need to just keep putting down fire so they don't excuse me. I'm setting myself on fire too. I'm setting myself on fire as well. Excuse me. All of you just go away, please. Right, uh, burn the stim packs. Use healing items that are decent in terms of food. Yeah, do a Brahmin steak. I'm probably due for a Brahmin steak and some water. The problem is I need to deal with the guys who are behind me. Yep, just lay down some fire right there. And there's going to be more coming in front of me too. How are we doing? And more importantly... Oh, we're making slow progress. And I can't ah. see any more. Yep, you guys are right there. Yeah, that's right. I see all of you. Lay a couple of them backwards. Remember, this thing doesn't actually use ammo. Lay a few shots at the back there. You can see the shadows through the fog, which is very convenient. Yeah. Okay, nothing in front of me. That's you on. Hello! You guys just popped out of flipping nowhere. Right, lay a couple more shots on you bastards. And oh, hang on. Yeah, there's just a bit of a, like a, a, just a landslide or something just to throw you off the road there. We should be okay. They're probably on the tail by now. Actually, they seem to have mostly given... Am I still heading the right way? I am still heading the right way. Yep, that's that's fine. And you too, please. All of you on fire. Right, just keep going. We're almost there. 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 In fact, there's surprisingly little here. Come on. We must be. Boom! Pine Creek Tunnel. In we go. Is this safety? I'd love it if this was safety. And also, is anyone... No, we're in caution. Not danger. Oh, dear. So, the note from Joshua said, Oh yeah, totally flee into the tunnel and go to Vegas. They didn't even make it one bloody step into the tunnel before they were all slaughtered. Marvellous. Okay. Question is, what the hell's in here now? And is the Wendigo still following me? Because there were mentions of that thing hunting. So potentially it's not done yet. Well, no sign of any- Oh! Traps. Right, this tunnel is trapped up. And in this generation, you can't use that to spot... Oh dear. That was very subtle, all things considered. Let's just quickly do some healing. Can I see? Okay, I can see that there. Yeah, fine. So, that mine over there, I can... Ah, bloody hell. Okay, so they basically put mines in dickish positions where there's going to be trouble. I see. Door right here. Watch out for traps. We're just going to be walking from trap to trap to trap, I'm guessing. Oh, we found Waking Cloud. That's nice. And the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, that sounds promising right there. The light at the end of the tunnel. The way to the grand staircase is blocked. We had no choice but to delve into the long dark that is the tunnels. Six days we travelled through the darkness. Six nights we wondered if we would ever see the end. When finally we emerged, we were met only with terror. A scorched and wind-torn land lay before us, but life lingers in the harshest of places. 
We saw tents in the valley and campfires. We set out to meet with them, but the people of the desert met us first. They shot Dancing Flame and he danced no longer. They shot Running Bear and he ran no longer. They shot Leeds with Chalk, but he did not stop leading. He drew his war club and charged the enemy without fear in his eyes. I'd like to remember him in that moment only. Back to the tunnel we went, and for six more days we made the journey back to Zion, but now we see the truth of it. The door is locked, the door is locked, and only one man has the key to unlock it. Daniel. He converted me, he taught me, he gave me a new life under God, and now he has killed me. The people of the desert pursue us still, the way to the grand staircase is blocked, as is the way to Zion. We have no hope but to prepare this tunnel for battle. Our last battle. Right, so they basically decided going to Lonesome Road was a stupid idea, which it's true, it is, and they're the ones who booby trapped it up, but they just, I don't know, died in battle or starved to death because well, there's no food here, so you can only last so flipping long. Right, and there's also rads in the tunnel, which is no good at all. Honestly, I can barely see the trap, so I may as. Never mind, maybe I should pay more attention for the traps. How about one bullet to just set off the gas leak? Because there's clearly a gas leak going on here. Yeah, I see it over there. Sadly, the bullets are not actually... Oh, hang on. Well, there's one thing that should trigger it. In fact, if it doesn't, this will be very peculiar. Flipping Molotov cocktail should do the job. Yes. There we go. That should get rid of that gas. Yep, spot on. That worked pretty nicely. Then we've got... Ouch! More bloody hidden mines, obviously. Open the... I don't like this place. I don't like this place one bit. So, there's a dick door here. Back off. Okay. This time the door hasn't exploded. Never mind. Yes, it has. Ah, it's a toaster mine. I see. Obviously. Oh, and this is promising. I've found a door to the long dark. And I can confirm it is indeed somewhat dark down here. And I need... Right. I'm going to be needing keys. I'm going to be needing keys and I'm going to be needing to... Oh. Pay attention in the dark because the place is flipping full of traps. Marvellous. Just flipping marvellous. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I would say that is enough for now. We have managed to outwit the Wendigo, fight our way past the NCR, get the key we needed, and make our way inside the long dark. But, uh, yeah. I think I've got a taste of what's waiting for me. There is going to be a very long winding maze down here, and it's full of traps that I am not very good at spotting. So... This is going to be interesting. The hunt for the key continues. And at the end of it, flipping Lonesome Road is waiting for us. So I don't consider that a massive improvement, to be honest. I should really have just stayed in the Mojave. Yeah, fighting for all this to get to flipping Lonesome Road. The Divide. No. No, 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 no. Still, we shall see why exactly I'm trying so hard to get to the Divide next week, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout New Vegas with Dust. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.